Hello everybody. Hope you guys had a superb long weekend. It started with Independence Day and now this week at the start there is Raksha Bandhan. What a great week for a lot of people who go to office and enjoy the long weekend but most importantly for me it's been a very interesting one. I made a massive mistake last episode we will discuss more about that but I hope you guys had fun on Independence Day on Raksha Bandhan and everything else. There's been very little cricket. Bahut kam. But there's been a few things that we need to discuss so let's get straight into it this question from anil thakur dk bhai india ko icc champions trophy se pehle ek long odi series kheli chahiye thi na हाँ जरूर अगर टाइम मिला तो डेफिनेटली खेल सकते हैं पर वी आर प्लेइंग इंग्लैंड विच इज अगेन वन ऑफ द बेस्ट टीम्स इन द वर्ल्ड बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग टीम है जस्ट बिफोर प्लेइंग द चैंपियंस ट्रॉफी अ टेरिफिक टीम टू प्ले इन एशियन कंडीशंस विच वुड बी वेरी सिमिलर टू काउंटरिंग वट एवर एंड वेर एवर द एशिया कप इज गोइन बी सो आई फील दट गोइ बी अ गुड सीरीज फाइव थ्री ट्वेंटी थ्री ओडियाई सीरीज एंड इट विल बी अ सीरीज दट इज वेरी क्लोज बिकॉज इंग्लैंड will definitely try to do well in this champions trophy there is no doubt about that they'll come all guns blazing but india i think we are ready nothing to worry this question from nihal 45264 nihal 264 rohit sharma ki fan ho obvious i know <laughs> dk which is your favorite overseas t20 league already excited to see you in sa20 thank you thank you my favorite overseas league that i followed um 100 because i have commented a lot on it also sa20 it's a series where just like in ipl there's a lot of crowd because the home base is very good jether be domestic cricket ko people follow a lot there the premier leagues in those countries will be very good this question from dwanik shah dikhe bhai do you think why can't bumra be considered as captain he's calm smart has a cricketing brain and maturity too see you for sure jo bhi aapne bola dwanik absolutely right calm cool most important good maturity but fast bowler hai so how can we play him for all three formats that is the biggest question the selectors would have had ek fast bowler ban ke especially at bumrah's level usko protect karke important matches mein khilana itna important hai i keep saying this about bumrah wo ek kohinoor diamond hai we got to protect him take care of him make sure that he lasts as long as possible kyunki whenever bumrah plays kuch bhi format mein he makes an impact and that's what we want you burden him with captaincy then if he ends up playing a lot of series and injures himself It is a manasty problem. This question from Tumul Singh: If you can share one piece of advice for your 18-year-old self and your 28-year-old self, what will it be? My 18-year-old self, I would say, enjoy your cricket. Don't be too hard on yourself while playing it. The 20-year, 8-year-old self, I'll say, go meet Abhishek Nair. I think I met him a little late. If I had met him a little earlier, I think it would have been even better. That's the only thing I can think of. This question from Itihas. Hi, DK Anna. Hello. For which player is this Dilip Trophy competition most important to break into Team India? I feel two skill sets is very very important. One, fast bowlers. Two, middle order batsmen. ये दो skill set के लिए this tournament is going to be very very important. But let's get to the fast bowlers. Akash Deep. then we have mukesh kumar who is going to be the fourth and fifth medium pacers kyunki jab ek panch test series khelte ho it is important that you have a big battery of fast bowlers in australia ready to play at any point of time shami siraj bumrah lock in the other three bowlers who is that going to be akash deep i can think of uh, people are talking about mayank yadav i don't know if his body will last five day cricket he seems to be a bit injury prone that is a challenge kalil similarly can his body take the load this question from durai dua Is India looking for next gen of spinner and backup pace bowling all rounder with this Dilip Trophy and how was the good trailer na? Lovely, lovely, Durai. Vara, more two questions get ringing. Oh no, na Vara. First, is India looking for an off spinner? First, definitely yes. Last India A series against the England Lions, they tried three off spinners in three matches. First match, Pulkit Narang played. Second match, Washington Sundar played. Third match, it was Saran Chain. So they are trying out. I think Washington Sundar is obviously the front runner behind Ashwin right now. but we never know he's doing well in whatever limited opportunities he's getting so i feel he'll get his due first before they go to anybody else now fast bowling all rounder one of the toughest two skill sets to get we all know how hard it is romba ve kashtam avlo easy illa india la avlo nitish ready look solid 
he has to obviously grow as a cricketer he is somebody that they'll be looking at keen we all know shivam dubey tried in white ball format i'd be very surprised they pick him for test cricket now romba mukhyamaana question goal trailer vera level paakna funny and venkat prabhu padam eduthale or or certain fun element irukum or dialogue na or nakkal irukum i'm looking forward to that i'm sure it will be a super movie we all know vijay's movie mass movie da idhu yet another class mass movie ar this question from Kuldeep S DK I'm a big fan but was sad you didn't pick MS Dhoni in your favorite 11 in the last ACB episode why so bhai log bada galti ho gaya first thing I say when I said at the start of this episode that it's been an eventful week I didn't know whether to feel happy or sad happy because there are so many people watching ACB episode which is the happy part but when I made actually genuinely it was a mistake I realized it only when the episode came out. There were so many things happening that when I put this eleven, I actually forgot the keeper. Luckily, Rahul Dravid was there, so everybody thought I put a part-time wicket keeper. But genuinely, I didn't think of Rahul Dravid as keeper. Can you believe it? Being a wicket keeper, I forgot to add a wicket keeper. It is a blunder. It's such a big mistake. I couldn't have made. Now you can. And for me, let's make it very, very clear. Thala Dhoni is a. lock in in any format that i put not only in india i believe he is one of the greatest cricketers ever to have played the sport i genuinely believe that that team when i if i had to do it again that is the one change i will do thala dhoni in at number 7 and he will be the captain of any indian team that is there no doubt about it and here we are as usual in the interesting segment the hatke segment what can i think of this time because there have been a long weekend as always family had come we are at dinner now there are always these uncles and aunties who will say this business idea aapko bahut acha suit hota hai aap kyu ye nahi karte ho like that i am sure in all our families there is this wishful aunty or uncle who has a business idea for us and it happened and immediately i thought now what are the business ideas i can give some of our cricket friends let's go First business idea would be clothing shop. KL Rahul, I think he has a good set of clothes, good style. Let's go. Jewelry shop. Two people can do it. Hardik Pandya, Rishabh Pant. Both of them can. I'll say open a jewelry shop. They have good idea as to what to do with jewelry, and they have lots also. Restaurant. I'll say Virat Kohli, but he already has restaurants. There's no point giving an idea. Maybe he can get big restaurant. Farming. Farming needs strength. I feel for strength. We have Umesh Yadav. I always think he's one of the strongest cricketers I've met. Bookstore. I'd go for R Ashwin. He recently launched a book. He has so much time. He's doing so much. I'm sure a bookstore is something that will suit his mindset as well. He's a geek in all ways. Cricket turf or football turf? Forget cricket turf. So both are there, but football turf. M S Dhoni, good footballer. He'll also, I'm sure, improve his football skills even more. Who knows what he can do? <laughs> electronic gadget shop. Me, me. I love electronic gadgets. Footwear apparel. Nice one. Rohit Sharma, he's got a few interesting footwear. Ice cream parlor. You know, I should have thought about this, but I feel Yuzvendra Chahal because he is one of those guys who's allowed to eat ice cream, has to eat ice cream because he's the only one who can put on weight, and if he puts on weight, it's better for him. Not many people in the Indian team we can say is capable of that. So let's not go there. Lastly, the quintessential tea shop, Sanju Samson. In Kerala, lot of tea shops. I'm just I'm just best. You just enjoy being part of that. Knowing him, he's such a chill guy. I think he'll enjoy it a lot. So here we are. We come to an end of another episode. A few questions answered. The Hatke segment, little Hatke as always. But some interesting cricket coming up. West Indies, South Africa, shifting gears. We'll get into the white ball format soon. Pakistan versus Bangladesh, start of an era. And then we have England, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka has Ian Bell as a batting coach, so they'll be trying to make amends with the bat there. The tough conditions to play on. So there's a bit of cricket there, but most importantly, you can keep sending me your questions. Be it music, be it dance. Take care. Have fun. I know it's no more long weekend. You got to work hard through the week as well. But at the end of the week, I'll come back with another episode of Hashtag Hey CB with DK. Thank you so much for tuning in and having a look again.